Welcome to FirstZoom.tv. I'm Amanda Rovita reporting. Today, DFI has stretched the boundaries with their executive LAN party DKX58 Nehalem motherboard, which supports LGA1366 socket CPUs from Intel's all-new Core i7 processor range. This LAN party DKX58 motherboard has plenty of features that will allow you to tweak and fiddle until you have your system purring to your satisfaction, like the Audio Realtek ALC889 chip and the LAN chip, which is a Marvel 8053 and gives 15% better LAN speeds than other integrated chips. The debug LED helps when things go wrong and has 33 different codes to tell you exactly where the problem lies. The power and reset buttons are also very convenient. The X58 chipset allows three graphic cards PCI 2.0 slots for three-way SLI or Crossfire X setups, supporting a 16 by 16 for two cards in tandem, or 16 by 8 by 8 for three-way SLI or Crossfire X. DFI leaves the MOSFET cooler exactly where it is needed, so it cannot be detached, but for the enthusiasts, they allow the Northbridge heatsink part to be removed, but not completely. There still remains a protective copper plate which can accept any kind of cooling device as needed. The copper plate conducts the very cold cooling from LN2 or dry ice directly to the MOSFETs through the specially sintered heat pipe or alternatively offloads heat as needed. What should also be noted is that the sintered heat pipe is very unique and not found on other brands of motherboard. It has much more liquid inside the pipe and with a thicker porous rim, it transfers heat in a very effective way, the same way that a sponge works when absorbing water. This allows the heat pipe to be oriented in any position and still work effectively. Next is the number of fan connectors to be found throughout the motherboard. In total, six headers are available and each can be monitored directly through software in the BIOS. The digital PWM can be monitored and controlled to some degree via a GUI called Smart PWM in Windows. The motherboard automatically senses workload and activates two phases for idle load and six phases under full load. ABS, or Automatic BIOS Settings, DFI have pre-programmed the BIOS in this DKX58 motherboard to accept an automatic overclock. Just press F1 when you start up and the BIOS will do the rest. The CPU, memory and other components are automatically boosted and in some cases can give 20% performance boost, perfect for enhancing your PC's performance without having to know too much about overclocking. When you want to reset your BIOS, modern high-end motherboards have some kind of switch or jumper to do this. DFI have taken this a step further. If you press the reset and power on button simultaneously, then your BIOS is essentially cleared. Similarly, on the DKX58 motherboard, DFI have utilized two buttons which are pressed together to clear the CMOS if you are benching without a case. This adds to safety. This motherboard is packed with features. Most of them are based inside the BIOS and going through them briefly you can see some of the new settings and what they are for. Essentially, there are two levels of BIOS. One is called Genie BIOS and is for you guys who know what you are doing. The other standard interface is for those who prefer standard settings or automatic OC without too much hands-on tweaking. Here, you can see a very quick overclock via the Genie BIOS and the bus speeds before and after, so you can judge the board's capabilities for yourself. Without a doubt, DFI stand alone when it comes to BIOS settings and tweaking options, since there are over a hundred unique settings available. This motherboard really is a work of art. Having met the guys at DFI, I've seen their commitment and attention to detail, as well as witnessed their passion at creating the ultimate motherboard with the most tweak ability. This is Amanda Rovita reporting for FirstZoom.tv, directly from DFI headquarters in Taipei.